Well, it's happened. The time has come. I have turned 30 years old. But you know what? I refuse to sit here and complain about it. I've, I've already done that. When it comes to growing older, you need to realize that it is a privilege denied to many. Not everyone is lucky enough to live a long life, so at least for their sake, don't complain about the gift of an extra year. Embrace it, own it. And I have had some good years in my life so far. I had a great childhood with a loving family. <laughs> I somewhat enjoyed my school years and somehow achieved the grades that I needed and through school I met some amazing friends. Like seriously, I could not have asked for better friends growing up. All the creative, talented, inspiring, exciting, mad bats that I've met during my life, they all have a special place in my heart. And through these friends, I found a passion that not only tested my limits, but it taught me that through hard work, I could personally see progress. I then used that same mentality to get myself through college, twice, from drummer to plumber, and now I guess the world is my oyster, as they say. One thing, however, that I have not yet experienced in my life is a surprise party planned for little old me until now. Okay. All right, let's give you let's give you guys a little tour of the place. We're basically on a farm and uh, we've paid for well, Rachel 
has paid for the little hut that we're staying in. And we're sharing the land with these guys. And those guys over there, if you can see them. And there's apple trees everywhere. They make their own apple cider here on this farm. Uh, yeah, I would show you the farm, but it's all the way over there. <laughs> There's an outdoor toilet and shower over here. This is the bath room, the toilet. Yeah, you don't really need to see it. And this is the shower. It's pretty cool. It's nice to have a shower outside. It's very nice, very nice and hot. Okay, hey buddy, you mind if I carry on with the tour? Yeah, sound. Right then guys. Oh, okay. Back here is the sink and not joking, I am quite freaked out about walking in there right now because last night there was, well, there was spiders everywhere there last night. It was horrible. There was big ones, little ones, chunky ones, skinny ones, but right over there somewhere, there was what I think is a false widow spider. And I took a photo of it actually, so I will put it in. I'll put it right here. Boom. Is that a false widow spider, guys? Let me know. Always up to mischief. Now this one is our favorite chicken. We call it beetroot. Because I was feeding them all bits of food and uh, a bit of beetroot landed on this guy's back. Now I know it's beetroot. One, because he's got a little mark of purple on his back, if he'll show you. <laughs> Come on, beetroot. Oh no, this isn't actually beetroot. Never mind. I thought you were my, my bestie. You're cool too, man. I want to I wanna see what it feels like. Oh, that is rough. Wow. Goodness me. Wow. <laughs> 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 Look at them all. Jesus, this one's huge. Yeah, Whoa. that's definitely the, that's the bull. Yeah. Yeah, that's the bull. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> Bye guys. So, I heard that you've got a couple of questions for me. Yeah. And I heard I've got a couple of questions for you. Yeah. Fire away. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> Miss Yeah. Question number one. What would you rate this place? Mmm. -hmm. I would rate this place eight or a nine. Because there's always room for improvement, but I love this place. It's one of those quiet places that you can come that you could like write a book out to or something. It's one of those types of places for artistic people. But what I like about it the most is that there's so many animals around. There's chickens and geese and everything. Yeah. 
I say everything. It's just them two <laughs> animals. There's chicken and, there's, and geese. There's giraffes, <laughs> there's um, hippos and... I actually saw a cat near the van as well, so there's a cat too. And there was ducks up near the road. There's a few animals around. But those chickens, the cheeky chickens that come into this blinking hut, <laughs> they're awesome. So. And our best friend, um, Beetroot. Beetroot, yeah. Did you tell him why you called Beetroot? Yeah, I did. <laughs> right then. I got a question for you, Ed. All right. Here we go. Yeah, right. People live in cabins like this all year round. Could you, Rachel, live in a yeah. tiny house? Yeah. Could you? Why could you? Is it easy? Oh, nice. <laughs> It's a simple yes, we could live in, we could easily, we could easily live in a tiny house. No problem. Next question is in your hands. What's been your favourite Airbnb stay so far? Ah. Refresh me now. We had one on one of my birthdays, didn't we, where we had that dog. Yeah. Yeah, that was another awesome one with animals where we had like a cat around, this epic dog that came to visit all the time. But yeah, that was one place. What was another Airbnb? Mm, last year when we went to that cottage and uh, then we went to our zoo. Oh my god! I love that cottage. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. The one with the thatched roof and everything. Yeah. That was a sick place. Out of those three latest ones, um, I would say the coolest place building that we stayed in was that one with a thatched roof, but it had crap grounds. You couldn't, yeah. you couldn't go anywhere there. I like the dog place. That was my favorite one. Yeah, I'm going for that. That was one heck of a cool trip. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I have another question for you then. Okay. Ah, okay. Do the creepy crawlies bother you in yeah. this small house? They do. Yeah. Especially the flies. Yeah. Those flies. Yeah. The damn chickens poop around this field and there's blinking flies around. It's those damn chickens. <laughs> They're so cute, but they bring you. the flies. <laughs> Smell. Ah, rich. <laughs> <laughs> One more question for you, Rich. Actually, there's two. Is it going? Yeah. 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 All right, we'll move on to the okay. next one. Do we? <laughs> I'm only joking. Is it going to be hard to say goodbye to Beetroot and the gang? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I know. I think we all know what the answer is gonna be. <laughs> um, yeah. And one last question for you. How am I so awesome? How are you so awesome, Rachel? <sighs> just, I just am. You just are, it's just, just in am. your genes, I guess. Mm -hmm. The actual question was, do you love me? 